Hey, and welcome back to Flicker Flicks. I'm Tim. I'm Adam. And I'm Sam. Woo! And here we have our very unprofessional reviews. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It happens to the best of you us. You can find us uh, here weekly. <laughs> here we are on Eastern Discord. Not standard Discord. Standard time. <laughs> uh, we have a great video. This is a great episode. For you this week. Yeah, great episode. I can't even remember. The Swept, Swept Away. Swept Away. Swept Away on Crackle. Yes. Uh, it's a fantastic film. Uh, we'll number one. That in here in a little film bit. Number one. Number one. <laughs> film number one. Also, spoiler alert, but it really doesn't matter. Spoiler alert. There's a <laughs> Sam? <laughs> tell him about it. <laughs> Let's hear the synopsis. Okay. And since it's on Crackle. I feel like we should defend the fact that we said spoiler alert that it really doesn't matter because it really does not matter. It Normally not we matter. tell you, yeah. you should go watch this. And I can't really even say with high hopes that you should like, go watch like this Like last movie. episode, we did Okja and we were like, spoiler alert, do not watch our episode unless it, which by the way, we forgot to give you the ratings for that one. That one was an 86% by critics on Rotten Tomatoes and an 81% on audience. Ooh. Yeah, what's this one? Yeah, Sam, what's this one? Let's go, let's go straight into it. We go 86, 81. And on then Rotten we Tomatoes. have 5% from critics oh. on Rotten Tomatoes. 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 And 28% from the audience. 28. And then Google, who all these people are off their rocker because they put 68. And I mean, I feel like we're easily entertained, but there's no way. In hell, I would ever rate this above like. A I don't know. Whoa, 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 spoiler alert for the end of the episode. <laughs> 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 but let's talk about what this movie's about, and, and really why does get it into crackle? Why it sucks? So why does it bad. crackle, Sam? So it crackles because it's a must-see historical oddity. Guy Ritchie. It, it means that it's a historical oddity. Like, it's okay. not something that happens very often. And <laughs> it's just odd for the times. It's Guy Ritchie's one yeah. and only rom-com. And, you know, <laughs> Guy Ritchie, I really love you, but please don't make any more rom coms I mean, he hasn't <laughs> since 2002. <laughs> so hopefully he learned his lesson. I think he has. And uh, the real synopsis, which the last time I, wrote, I read a synopsis on Crackle for Monster Trucks, it was pretty lengthy. Well, Crackle decided this only deserves... One sentence, a max of two sentences for why it crackles in the regular synopsis. And, you know, I think I think it's pretty accurate. A spoiled socialite is marooned on a deserted island with a sailor who cannot stand her. Yeah. Ooh. So I think that we should chat about um, what do you want to why we picked first? this. Because okay, yeah, it yeah. was an award-winning film or why I picked it. When she says we, it's she. <laughs> so I picked it because... I was looking for a Raspberry Award winner, you know, like a really terrible movie, and it was also a rom-com, and so good old me thought, like, oh, hey, we'll do a rom-com, I'll make these guys watch it, it'll be fun, because, like, it'll probably still be entertaining, but it won't be horribly awful, and I regret everything, and I understand why (laughs) it won so many Razzies, so let's get into that. This film won a lot of awards. Five of them. Yeah, five. The film swept. Ha! It swept. It swept the Golden Raspberry Awards of 2003, winning five of its seven nominations. Which doesn't make sense because sweeping would mean they got all seven. That is true. But also, they should have gotten all seven. But I don't know what the other nominations were for. (laughs) But I'm just going to go out on a limb and say they should have gotten those. Anywho, you were robbed, Guy Ritchie. You deserved two more awards. Winning two of its seven nominations, including Worst Picture, Worst Director, Worst Actress, sorry about it, Madonna's in this movie. Madonna? Which you thought would be a reason to watch it, Mm. me, personally. Because, I mean, I'm not really a Madonna fan, but I was interested in seeing how she acts. And boy, does she act! You know, this is her last feature film. Ever? Yeah. She, again, wait, deserved. Wait, hold up. Which one was Madonna? Sarcasm, right? <laughs> no. Was it the actual girl? Like yeah, girl? that's Madonna. All right. Yep. <laughs> yep. Did not recognize her <laughs> at all. <laughs> I didn't even realize that she was supposed to be in the film. <laughs> oh, gosh. So at the time... Well, actually, Tim, did you watch the trailer? Of course not. So we watched it after we watched the movie. 
Oh, that was probably a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because it's not all. It's it's just a bad trailer. I uh, now I feel like I need to watch the trailer. Oh yes, yeah, so you do, you do. Well, and it was back at that time, back when at they... that time, like twenty years ago. But I mean, <laughs> not even. But no, it was at the time. <laughs> it wasn't even like it wasn't even twenty. It felt like it was from like nineteen ninety. I don't know. Yes, like the whole movie. It honestly just... felt so old. <laughs> so this one, but the trailer has the voiceover remember that was popular when we were kids it'd be like in a world yeah the whole trailer is like that the whole trailer (laughs) is like that and like you think i have a special part in my heart for those trailers heart in your heart heart in my heart because like that's what we grew up with right we were used to like the inner world and i used to think that like Maybe it was just for kids movies or like action movies. Oh no! Even swept away got the inner world guy, which it was mostly for action films. I felt like apparently. So anywho, Madonna sucks in this movie. Shocker. <laughs> Madonna, also known as Guy Ritchie's wife at the time. Mm-hmm. We'll get into that in a second. But there's more <laughs> to be said about the Razzies, which you thought that I was done, but I'm not. The film itself would later win two more awards. Worst drama of the Razzie Foundation's first 25 years. It won it in 2000. drama? Yeah. It is a drama. I thought it was supposed to be a rom-com. I think it falls... I also will fight that it is called a rom-com. Where was the com? Where was the rom? Where was any of it? <laughs> what Was this actually a movie? Or just... Did I just watch... I don't know what I watched. Or just... It's not even like it's a really long Madonna music video. I really Which I expected it to be. It was like a guy made a movie about his wife walking mm-hmm. up and down a ship. And then her incompetence. Does that sum it up? Yeah, but... Did I miss anything? Yeah. If you had a wor- one word to describe her, what would it be? She's a bitch. Tim? Just entitled, yeah, which, yep. Yeah, I think I wrote bitch down like five or six times on my piece of paper. So, yeah, she's entitled and high maintenance. That would be if we were trying to be nice. Yeah, no. But we're not, she doesn't deserve our She niceties. doesn't deserve it. Um, And the other award, to get back to that, and then we'll get into the meat of this thing. The other award it won was the worst picture of the decade in 2010. In 2010, seven years after the movie, it's... Eight. Eight years after the movie, it was still winning awards for how terrible it was. So, let's talk about how terrible it was, guys. All right. Yeah. Where do you want to start? Where do you want to start? Do you want to start with the like the people like when they're on the boat, or do you want to go straight to the island? Uh, let's start about on the boat because I have some thoughts on the boat. Tim. Okay. Which which parts of the boat are you talking about? The people on the boat. A lot. I'm just okay. Gonna, I'm just gonna roll into my thoughts. We'll go from there. So, the opening scene sets it up as a typical romance, I think. Um, it had that weird, like, up, uppity music, right? Like, beep, yeah. boop, beep. I mean, that's not what it sounded like. Just like beep, but... boop, <laughs> it had well, I have comments about the music, but go ahead. Yeah. So, the opening scene had, like, a bunch of, like, jazzy, like, typical rom com music. So, it sets it up mm-hmm. well. I think in that part, that was the one scene that had the romance. And it just keeps cutting to scenes of couples and food. Couples and food. It's just like couple, glass of wine, grapes. Couple, glass of wine, Madonna's butt. <laughs> there might have been Madonna's no, butt. No, they they straight up at one point. At the she's scene? not in the opening scene. Yeah, I didn't think so. I haven't found Just that. later later on you see her butt. Yeah. Okay, anywho. Mm-hmm. And then after the opening scene, when they first so premise they're on vacation. That's pretty much all Guy Ritchie gives you. They're on vacation and it's a couple of different couples. And then they rented this yacht, right? And so they aboard the yacht, and already Miss Miss Buttface is what I'm going to call her for the rest of the episode, mm-hmm. Madonna's character. I bet you can't even name what her real name is. I have no idea. Do they say her name that much? Not until the end. Not until the end. I didn't know her name until like <laughs> three-fourths of the way through. I, don't... I didn't know anybody's name except for Pepe. <laughs> yeah. That's not even his real name. What's his real name? For the first 15 minutes. <laughs> his real name is Giuseppe. Yes. Yeah. But which he does call me Pepe. He does. Which Sam is like, who the fuck is Pepe? No, I knew because she would re- she would refer to him as for Pepe pee-pee. or Pepe. No, she would only refer to him as Pepe and Guido. But I was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was like, why is she calling him? 
Like, and but the other people would call him Pepe. And I'm like, why are they calling him Pepe? He fucking said his name was Giuseppe. But apparently I missed the part where he said his name is yeah, also Pepe. Pepe. But, yeah. I mean, sense. the whole time they're, like, basically ridiculing this poor little fella. It made me upset. I was like, bro has done nothing. Which, at the beginning, they board the boat, and she asked where the gym is. And, like, right. girl... Have you seen the size of the boat? Yeah, it's the like, boat it wasn't big. It would not have a gym. Like, I'm she sorry. She said that, and I was like, what? Is this <laughs> boat bigger than I thought it was? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Is it going to go through some sort of stretching situation? <laughs> Honestly, they had more <laughs> gym equipment than I expected. Yes, well, that's what I was going to say. And so Pepe brings back this, like, <laughs> little gym from, like, the 80s. Like, it's just like a bike. But it looks real rough, real old. Yeah. And he's just like, here you go. And, of course, the first time we see her just, like, launch off about how upset she is. And it's like, what did you expect? And then good old Pepe decides, you know what? It's okay. I brought you a jump rope, too, just in case. Jump rope. <laughs> and then he tells her how to use it. Like, she hasn't like, used a jump rope. You can jump. <laughs> well, he, he already hated her, so. Yeah, you can oh, tell. Oh, yeah. It was great. Trying to mess with her there. Yeah. Yeah. And then I will say I did enjoy how he would keep going back and complain to the crew. She's so like she's such a bitch. Yes. Well, that's the other thing. The kitchen staff. Okay, so they obviously had like a captain who was basically saying like, "Oh, just smile. It'll be whatever." But the kitchen staff was my favorite. They were like super jazzed. At one Mm. point, he like bursts in and they're like ah and like jumping around and being (laughs) stupid. So they're great. But then my other thing was he's all like, I'm going to kill that fucking bitch or whatever. I'm going to kill her with a kitchen knife. And then they just just put the knives over. Like, there you go. (laughs) So clearly everyone understands how difficult she is. Mm -hmm. I just, I can't even fathom it. What what would you say your favorite line she said while still on the boat? I think there were a lot of lines. That you love. There was one that I really, really. She's really searching. I'll re- I'll say loved. mine real quick. You don't need eyes to bake a cake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which I will say oh. there is a there is a woman who won Master Chef who was blind. So mm-hmm. technically she was not wrong, but that definitely yeah. wasn't what she was trying to say. No, yeah. she was talking about what like poor people or something. She was talking about something that actually is going on. Right now, like pharmaceutical companies overpricing goods, and he's like, "Shouldn't anybody who's blind be able to buy the product?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she's like, "That's not how capitalism works." Yeah, yeah, basically I was like, saying she doesn't have to be responsible to anyone as long as there's a demand. She, and she was like, "If they can't afford it, they can still bake a cake." And I'm like, "What?" Yeah, yeah. Well, and particularly, what's great about that line is that throughout the rest of the movie, like it keeps coming back up. So, like. Yeah, they, it's not like they drop that line. Yeah, when Yusebe yeah. gets, like, really, like, she basically riles into him because, like, the fish is bad, which, who cares? But, anywho, they're on the boat. The fresh the fish is not fresh. Yeah, it's not good enough yeah, for her. Yeah, the one he literally just caught. <laughs> she yeah. sees him carrying it out, and this isn't fresh. Yeah, and then. Yeah. <laughs> She's trying to not laugh. You might have wanted to space out your lines. <laughs> Two pages worth of notes for this film. No, I'm just rereading it because it's so great. Okay, so the fish is bad. So then <laughs> he he imagines himself doing something drastic, which is just great. So he pours the fish on her head, and then he goes, "Now you can make the cakes." Doesn't wait. No, what she the fuck? screamed. She screamed. Oh my god, I'm blind now. And yeah, then he's like, well, yes. now you can make your cakes. Now you can make your yeah. cakes. And he's like, it doesn't look so bad now, does it? And he tosses her overboard. And that was Which, so great. Which, if you pay, like, when she to- when he tossed her overboard, it was definitely just like a doll. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. you, I just, it's just this still thing moving through she, the air. She doesn't do her own stunts. It's okay. It's okay. My other favorite quote was, and I forget the context of this, but I think it was... It was Buttface who said it. And she goes, where would we all be if we just did things whenever we wanted? And then somebody goes, on vacation. (laughs) 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 They're just like, do her friends even like her? 
I, th- no. I don't think so. No, I think the friends just... liked each other. The guys are like got along. It seems the guys were good. They were all friends. Poor yeah. Debbie, Elizabeth Banks. Oh my god! Right, that was my favorite character. For like, she just wanted to have okay, fun. They... Right, yes. and they just played it really heavy handed that she was a dumb blonde. Like, like <laughs> I know it's we the get old it, school, but they kept going with it. And it's like holy shit! But she ended up being my favorite character. <laughs> yeah, because there weren't any good ones. Yeah, that's true. True, but she also was much better actor. Than yeah. everyone else. <laughs> Clearly, she continues on, and she's the only one that really does anything after this film yeah. besides Guy Ritchie. That's true. But remember, that just took me back to the good old days of Elizabeth Banks. I mean, she has good old days right. now, but like when she first came on the scene when she was in 40 year old Virgin, that she was, was also a dumb part. blonde like that. Yeah. And yeah. So... <laughs> but it wasn't like that. <laughs> it was different and played out, and that like it wasn't so forced and heavy handed. Like it was, I don't know. She was supposed to be drunk in that one. And, That's yeah. true. You don't like she's drunk in 40 year old Virgin. In this one, yeah. She's just a dumb blonde. And I was like, yeah. early 2000s at their best. Yeah. Yeah. But, Tim, you got any oh, favorite lines? I have lines? a comment, though. Oh. Because I forgot. Do I do not have any favorite lines. I, I, most of what I wrote down was like, if I was sitting there watching the movie with you and I made a comment, I was like, I got to write that down. Yes. <laughs> I was doing the it same. Was, it was like literally at the very beginning, I had the my TV on normal volume that I usually have anything on. And that music comes on, I'm like, what is happening? I don't know if that was a and crackle like, thing. There's no way. I don't think so, because that music was loud. And then <laughs> and then they go to talk, and I'm like, hmm? <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm sorry, did you speak? I have no idea what just happened. I had to rewind and then turn on the captions for this, because I was like, I have no, I can't hear anything. I, I, it doesn't even matter. We just decided to be up, so the whole piss off film, our neighbors. Uh, every, yeah. Oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I, I guarantee I did because like I'd be watching it and then all of a sudden some trashy music would come on really loud and I'm like now I can turn the thing down and it's not even loud but I, I can know. tell it sounds like I'm having a party in <laughs> a really music. shitty party. It's, I assumed it was all gonna be like Madonna's music too. It's not. It's not. No, all. it's not. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you did bring this up because <laughs> I don't think anybody can really fathom it unless they can watch it themselves. Because we got up, got down, got thing. up, got down. Yeah. Yeah, we had the same thing. We were thing. like, oh, is it Crackle? Or like, maybe it's just like the. W- no, it's definitely that movie. <laughs> yeah, like the way we had it. But then later on, when they get marooned on the island and they do that whole like montage scene, montage that was the scene. longest montage ever. Oh my god, yes. It was oh. so long, but also I think our floor was shaking from the music. And I was like, I don't care. I'm not turning it down again. Otherwise, we wouldn't, we couldn't hear them otherwise. Yeah. It was, it was nuts, man. All right, before we get too far away from the quotes, I got to say a couple. Mm-hmm. Sure. I got something from the very beginning, too, but you keep going. Harry Black made it. Oh, yeah. She, she like called that. him that. So I Googled it, and uh, don't Google that. Why would I Google that? Because I was like, is that an Italian? I thought it was like something against Italians or something, because they kept Not saying Guido. Guido. Nope. It didn't make any sense. He wasn't black. He was Harry, and he wasn't a yeah. small, per- tiny person. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's no. just the type of person she is, but I'm sure you have more of her yeah, little Yeah, she straight up. <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, no, I got some of Giuseppe's lines here. Oh, okay. From now on, fishes is the plural form of fishes. I have that too. Oh yeah. So good. I can feast on you for a week. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. Gross. And then there was a one point. Oh shit! What was it? Oh, she says something like, "Ew, keep that reptile away from me." As she's yeah. as he's holding a fish. <laughs> Are we being punished because we're rich? Classic. Yeah. And then you wish I was a girl, um, phrasing, because she like she pauses there, and she's like, "You wish I was a girl, younger and blah blah blah." But like she does this awkward pause, and I just was yeah. like, uh, "Phrasing? Are we still doing that?" <laughs> oh my. <laughs> so yeah, I wrote down quite a few yeah. quotes. <laughs> well, before we segue to the island, the last point I have about the boat is like easily seventy five percent of the shots on the boat are just. Madonna walking down the side of the deck <laughs> in some sort of black outfit. So, like, a black jumpsuit, uh-huh. a black shirt, a black dress uh-huh. with, like, an open back. And all she keeps doing is just, like, 
walking. That's it. Yeah. And sometimes yeah. there's music and sometimes there's not. And that's like the majority of, I don't know, the first half of the movie. How long were they on the boat for too long? Mm, uh, I yeah, do not know. Minutes, I think at least. They were hating minutes. each other for all but like maybe 15 minutes it felt like. Well, it was yeah. definitely past 30 minutes because I had a full page at 37 minutes and that's towards the bottom of the page. Yeah. Dang, yeah. Yeah. That was bonkers. Okay, Tim, you had you you said you had a point. What's your point? Go. Oh, so early on when they're like catching their uh, rides and stuff, <laughs> did you guys notice that one of the drivers had no pants? No. No. <laughs> What? Yeah. So early, very early on, when they're catching their rides to like the plane and stuff, I don't remember. If it's when they got off or when they're going to. I think it's when they got off. Like was he in a speedo? <laughs> the driver is smiling. He has a hat on. He has like a a nice jacket on and no pants. <laughs> oh my god! Just some like white like what looked like boxers or something. Well, yeah. And I was like, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is Italia. Is it Italian life? I guess. I. I I'm telling I don't even think they were shorts. I think they were straight up just like, let's throw that in there. It'll be funny. The driver doesn't have pants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I just was like, oh, okay. I don't know. I just had <laughs> This is what movie it's going to be. All right. All right. I got, I, yeah. so at like one point in the movie, I legitimately wrote down, this is before they were like out of the boat. Because I think they were like, it was 45 minutes, maybe 50 minutes, 60 minutes in. They finally get on the tiny boat to go out to the, like before they get stranded. Yeah. I literally wrote down, what is the point of this movie? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I had that written down too. Basically. I was like, I don't the understand the it. point. Like, like yeah. they weren't like doing like the, like, I don't know. I just did not get this movie. Well, because they weren't falling in love at that point. Right. Which right. a typical rom-com would, or you would at least have like a sever between her and her husband, mm -hmm. which was not happening mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. Or you could have even been like, oh, let's show some scenes where they don't look like they hate each other, but they didn't do that. <laughs> no, I know. They didn't do that. <laughs> Except for that one scene where he was staring at her when she came upstairs. And I was like, okay, they're going to say something and we're going to start seeing some sparks. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. The only scene that they weren't very abrasive to each other was when she was drunk and she stumbled out of the party. I yes. know. Like, she stopped him in the hallway. That's the only time that she was, like, not rude or anything to him. I know. <laughs> and I was like, okay. Uh, is this was... the love part or what? <laughs> but, yeah. Um... And when we were talking, she was in, she was mean to everybody, though, like, including her husband. Oh, they all were. Yeah. I know. But, like, so the husband comes up in that outfit. Mm -hmm. What was that? What, what was the name of the person, Sam? Errol Flynn. She's like, who are you trying to be, Errol Flynn? Don't know who that what? is. So we Googled him, and we're like, how does that outfit scream Errol Flynn? Because Errol Flynn, like, everything we saw of him was wearing, like, suits and stuff. So, yeah. hey, you people out on Twitter and Instagram, if you understand that reference, can you please explain it to us? Because we don't. Yeah, because I searched for, like, a solid two minutes, mm -hmm. which is a long time for Googling. It's usually the first response. <laughs> Well, I think one one person is like, oh, are you trying to be a native? Well, Hawaiian shirt is Hawaiian, not Italian or Greek. Maybe Errol Flynn was Italian? Maybe. And then somebody was like, oh, you look like your Popeye. And I was like, oh, how yeah, does that, that look like Popeye? <laughs> yeah, that was confusing yeah. too. Like, what? So I just want to say, like, who wrote the script for this? I don't know. I didn't look because it up. Like there was one. I think they, they kind of just... We're going to film this. This is all ad libbing. Stuff. Oh, so this is what would happen if we did a movie. No, ours would be funny. <laughs> ours, the comedy would definitely come I out. I don't know. Maybe they thought theirs would be funny, too. That's yeah, true. Yeah, maybe Guy Ritchie is super proud of this. He's not. Okay. I don't think he is. <laughs> yeah. He named uh, Madonna's character Amber, by the way. That was her name. Oh. That's his mother's name. Okay. Oh. Oh. Which, oh, weird. which I'm gonna go in on this real quick. So, a he made his wife a complete and total bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, he cast his wife in this role because apparently she was cheap and she was free at the time, like available. Mm -hmm. Yeah. First off, <laughs> he talked about his own wife about like that. I was like, if you ever yeah. referred to me as cheap and free, <laughs> I don't care under what circumstances, that would be a discussion. <laughs> 
But so not yeah. only did he make his wife this crazy lady. Yeah. It's his mom's name. Yeah. Like, damn. Yeah, can I uh, can I speak to Doctor Freud, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, I was pretty w- much. Like, <laughs> I was wondering how much of this movie might have actually been based on their marriage because <laughs> they're now divorced. They're they're now divorced, but I was gonna say there was just some like weird stuff. Like not even her marriage with her actual husband, who's like barely in it, right? But like I don't know. There's just such weird stuff that you'd be like, oh yeah, totally. Like that's my wife, and I'm super proud that she's gonna play this part. Right. Of, I'm not, I'm so what? happy to. <laughs> Put my own wife in this film. Yeah. You would think you would want to make her at least, like... <laughs> likeable. Likeable. Well, I don't even know that. She would have to shine in some way. Like, be memorable. And, like, Madonna can sing, I think. Technically. Uh. Technically speaking. And, like, you only get that one really weird-ass scene where she has, like, a where fish she in her boobs. Sing. And she doesn't sing. It's not even her song. Mm-hmm. And, like, they're, like... Cha cha dancing. I don't even. I don't she's, even know how to She's doing a solo scene. dance, where she just keeps looking over her shoulder. That's her whole solo dance. Is her just like tilting her head? Yeah. It it was bizarre. Right. But, all of them. All of them. The whole movie's bizarre. In a bad way. In a great way. But before they get marooned on the island, and then we can segue there. He they climb aboard the boat. This was your point a little bit further oh, back. God. Yeah. And he puts on his little star sunglasses that are missing. Yes. <laughs> I did like those glasses. I did too. I was like, I want some of those. There's some respect yeah. for the glasses. And just like the way that he wears them is just great. He puts them on, doesn't give no crap, so there's no lens in one of the pieces. It's just it's great. Yeah. So do you have anything else about the boat? The mini boat, I guess. The dinghy. Oh yeah. Do the it. Dinghy? Though. Yeah, so first of all, it was very funny watching them sit in it because you could clearly tell it had like a, a wire or something keeping it in place. Oh, really? Because every time it would move, it, it you could tell it was like stuck in place and it was like <laughs> fake floating. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know I mean, like it was floating, but it, it was like a dock, like it would move and go back. Mm. Like I, I could just, I, that bothered me so much, I just kept watching it. It's like, <laughs> ah, Tim's it. like, I'm going a, I'm to a hop into the TV, cut your damn wire. <laughs> yeah. Like, I get it's a movie, but, oh, that was irritating. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was trying to figure this out. So they're on vacation. They're all sunbathing. Mm. So it's at least warm out at some point. But she's always like, I'm so cold. And I'm like, he's walking around in his gym shorts. Not gym shorts, but his shorts. Mm-hmm. And she's like in full, uh, like, clo- like it clothing. It can get cold out in the sea, though. Why? I know, but. It was just funny, like, they were wearing quite the opposite attires. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of, um, how do I want to put this, terrible stuff in this movie. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know there's a lot of terrible saying. stuff. Uh, what about that flare gun, though? That flare gun? <laughs> or the they could have used it immediately. How did she not realize what that gun would have been? Uh, well, then again, her character is pretty dumb. Yes. But... <laughs> No, she's smart. Uh, she talk about yeah, capitalism. Smart. Yeah. <laughs> she gets it, yo. But they could have used it right at the beginning when they found it and fired it, and then but then they like put it down and went back and like slept. This is what? true. Yeah. Why would you not use that? It's gonna work in the daytime. He would have known that. Somebody would still be able to see that. Well, if but I don't think he wanted to be rescued right away. Because if he rescued, he had to go back to being her slave. Yeah, I could see that, but... <laughs> that could be a thing. But then they, like, scramble for it the next day, and yeah. that's when it, like, it goes off and hits the boat. This is true. Now, did... So, I don't, I don't know. How did she hurt her foot? I don't know! Like, when they're on the island, she's walking around, and, like, at the beginning, when they first land there, she's walking on, like, the rocks. I don't know. She just kept like wincing about like walking on the rocks. And I, I think it was just kind of like she has soft feet. She's not used to this kind of stuff. Oh, okay. Because at one point she just had her her foot and wrapped she in her wrapped shoe. her foot. Yeah. Yeah, just her one though. So yeah, I, I know. She's about that too. And she kept limping on it. Yeah. Well, and I wonder if that was part of the montage at the beginning, one of the many deserted island montages where yeah. <laughs> he like goes off on his own and he's like finding a waterfall and like that being resourceful. Great. Yes, and then you just see her like struggling. 
<laughs> just on the struggle bus. Yeah. Can we also talk about oh. how it would take them forever to kick into the island. Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Like, I'm glad you brought this up. They, I was on, they would have spent like a day trying to get there. Yeah, I was at like, least. I was on the swim team. I did kicking shit. You get tired, like, faster than you would expect just kicking. Yes. Absolutely. And that far against current? Holy against crap. the current, because there's the undertow that'll pull you back out. Yep. Right. Well, and then they walk afterwards, and I'm like, bullshit. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> they don't even, like, lay to chill and, like, recuperate. But no. at that same scene, so they pan to the island that is clearly deserted. And she gets yeah. so excited. Like, oh, sweet. Like, there's an island. Like, paddle, paddle, paddle. And it's like, why are you paddling to get to a deserted island? And then you realize very how dumb she is. That was a great sentence. Very how dumb. Very how dumb very she how is. Dumb. Because she very dumb how. She very dumb how. Because he tells her the island's deserted, right? So they split off. They did their montages. He tells her the island's deserted. And she's like, that's not possible. And she's like, what is it? 1492? Yeah. Girl, there are uninhabited islands to this day. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. I'll, I'll be fired up for, about this movie forever. Forever it's fired a, up. Forever fired up. The beef is insane. <laughs> do you have an Okta farm? I think I do. I have farm super pigs. Or super cows, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but I do have one more note when they first land on the island. Yeah, let's hear it. <sighs> So. It's about the cigarettes that she pours out, and was like, they're all wet. And I'm like, what? did you? Did you? You just swam. Yeah. No, that wasn't it. But no. that's a good note because I, I have. We'll come back. To okay, that. you go to your note. So <laughs> she, they dock on the island, and he's like, oh, I'm gonna go look for stuff. And she's like, what? You can't leave me. Like, don't forget about me. So he goes off on his own, and then she doesn't follow him. <laughs> No. She's like, you can't leave me. And he fall like, the proper response would be if he's like, okay, I'm still going to go look, to then go follow him. Yeah. But right. she does it. She just goes on the struggle bus and presumably hurts her foot. Yep. Yeah. I don't. Who knows? Well, she at one point has a sea urchin in hand. Yes. Yeah. And she, like, pokes it. She pricks herself. Yes. Yeah. But she's already holding it. Yeah, yeah. I know. She would be hurting from she that. She would have discovered... Much earlier that that would um, hurt you. It's it's, it's touchy, <laughs> hurty. Yeah, it hurt when oh. touch and poke. We got good English touchy, in this. This hurt. episode is our best English episode. Yes. Oh, it's so so if you're learning English, don't from us. Yeah. What? <laughs> How you very much? All the very useful words like I don't know whatever we've talked about. Sea urchin. Like sea urchin. Yeah. Um. So back to your cigarette note. And then I feel like I should let Tim talk because I haven't let him talk very much. Tim's I just been have, monopolizing. I have so much to say it's about this good. movie. But at one point, you do see him smoking cigarettes. And my note was, where right. did those come from? I think they were yeah, in the hut. Hers were wet. Yeah. Yeah. And were they? Like, they might have been in the hut. Or did he like go regather them because they really weren't wet? Like, no, I don't. Dried know. them out. Yeah. Like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. Most likely, they're from the hut. Because there was alcohol in there, too. Yes, there was. Apparently, that alcohol changes. The bottle changes throughout like the scene. Like <gasps> It's a different bottle yeah. at one point. Now I want to go watch yeah. that. Yeah, you want to go rewatch this? No, I do not want to rewatch this. Especially not that scene, because it's another one of those loud-ass, oh, terrible God, music scenes. so <laughs> awful. Okay, so when they're in the hut, though, they only had candles, right? When it's all raining and everything? Yes. How the fuck was it that bright? That is a great <laughs> point. Like, it looks like there was a flashlight in there, or like there was a just not giant moon window, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Sketchy. Sketchy, because it was pouring down rain, so it clearly wasn't like from the like sky. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I wrote down, like, that's a ton of light for such few candles. <laughs> well, <laughs> and the candles, I don't know. The candles looked like you would get candles for, like, a romantic dinner, not, like... It's a rom-com. <laughs> I know, but you would think... 
I don't know. If yeah, if somebody had candles for their random hut on this deserted island, I just find uh, it hard to believe that it would be like rom com candles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, how do they not? Okay, so they clearly don't have like a bath or a shower, right? They don't. There's there should be sand everywhere on them. Yes. They should be dirty. There should be sand. How does she have makeup constantly? Yes, and her hair is like not even her frizzy. Hair is always, yeah, <laughs> they looked like they just went. I don't care about continuity or anything. Just I'm gonna go get ready, and then we'll film. Well, yeah, yeah and then his hair should have been longer. Know. Yeah, like it his was. Hair a, it was. They were his hair. I don't even know how long they were there. One month. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought they said, but like, so <laughs> we, we were on the know. news for a month, and I was like, yeah. Okay, like, well, his hair says shave. different. Yeah. He already had, like, the I neck mean, beard going. Well, mm-hmm. when it comes to, like, hair, you go, like, what, half an inch in a month? And after a certain length, I mean, some people aren't, it's not going to grow as quickly. That's true. That's true. It definitely stops. So I, you can kind of explain that, but for the sake of this movie, no. Garbage. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> detail. Terrible detail. She would have hairy legs, yeah. most likely. Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to say. She's rich. We'll she give her. Yeah, maybe. Lasered, yeah. But (laughs) we'll give them the fact that their hair didn't grow because it was only a month. But they should have Mm. definitely been way more gnarly looking by the end. Oh, absolutely. She should have had some cuts on her or like... Chapped lips. Their outfits shouldn't have been perfect. Her hair should have been a fucking mess. A mess. A mess. Also, how did that boat not see them? They're just lounging on the beach. The boat's just a few few hundred yards away. Oh, you never know. They can see the boat clearly. Well, it was rich people not paying attention to other people. Oh, obviously. that's true. That's true. Yeah. Anybody else notice that he is the Italian MacGyver? Yes. <laughs> he just oh, yeah. puts together a crossbow harpoon sort of scenario. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I got a few things on him. Okay, let's hear uh, some. Let's do so, it. like, like they're on the raft, right? Mm-hmm. And he catches a minnow or something. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, okay, first of all, um, where did that minnow come from? In the middle of like this giant ocean, like mm-hmm. what? What? He said he took hours I, to I get it. I feel like a little tiny fish is not going to be, like, I don't know. And then trying to catch that, I, like, I get people catch fish with their hands, but I think it was, like, a finger at most. There's no way. No way he caught this little tiny minnow thing. Especially, like, and not then, being in the water, right? He's, like, half, right. half hanging off the raft. Like, I'm yeah, sorry. Like, <laughs> it took me hours. I'm sure it did. <laughs> I believe uh, days is the correct answer. And then she just throws it away. Yeah, she just yeah. throws it. That's typical. Classic her. Um, Rich And then so problems. they get to the <laughs> island. And I just thought, it, I just found it very odd that he found, like, A, a tire. Yes. A tire. I was going to write that down. And I was like. <laughs> I already have like, too many wow. <laughs> I was very shocked that he found a tire. And then the hut. Like, I don't know. The hut could. Why is there a hut? I don't. Like a fully built know. hut. Like. Yeah, like the I had to rewind because I thought I missed a montage of him building it. <laughs> I was like really confused, and I just don't understand why there was a hut. But besides the fact that they were lazy and needed somewhere to, I don't know, stay. But yeah, I got, that's my few comments about the island. <laughs> that's what we already talked about. I just was really confused. Well, you bring up a good point because I feel like parts of the deserted island section of the movie are out of order. So, like, yeah. we have that long montage of them falling in love and, like, playing charades and whatever. Keep in oh, mind, this was after he, like, gets all... Uh, can Not, we say rapey? It's going to be... We're going to have to use the word. <laughs> that's what I wrote down. Very rapey. So... It, it, you know, yeah. It, for me, it started out as, like, this terrible movie. And then all of a sudden it went from that to, like... I wasn't sure if I should turn it off or not. Yeah. Because it was like, this is like a bad porno without the porn all of a sudden. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> th- that's how the storyline felt. And he started slapping her and stuff. And I was like, call me master. Mm, call me master. Yeah. I was like, wait, hold up. Am I watching the correct movie? <laughs> now, I will say that when he, she like knocks on his door, he opens and just slaps her and then closes it. I did laugh yeah. at that. <laughs> I well, say. she insulted him there. Yeah. I know. Do not the, insult The proper me. response was to slap her. <laughs> yes. But. So all of this has gone down. Lots of slapping. Lots of Lots slapping. Lots of just Sketch. sketchy, like, things that don't people Maybe don't want to watch, really right? Awkward. 
And then yeah. now she comes back to him. And they just, like, fall in love. And it's, like, a very long scene. And I'm like, okay, like, (laughs) if this was a regular rom-com, we probably should have skipped that sketchy section, right? And moved to the falling in love section up. And if you wanted to keep some parts of the sketchy section, I feel like it would have made more sense after they fell in love, not before that. Because I'm sorry, but I just don't see how she'd (laughs) want to be like, yeah, I'm yeah. down now. After she's DTF. He was like, you're going to have to fall in love with me. Yeah. Uh, okay. That, the, uh, How is that going to happen now? You just got each other covered in sand. That sand got everywhere. There's no way he's gonna. she's going to love you now. But... Well, yeah, there's the definitely sand everywhere. <laughs> with, this, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> with this movie, of course they're going to fall in love. And they're going to fall in love in the very next second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was no like day oh, after God. sort of thing. No, no, no. This is like he storms off yeah, to his hut, like immediately, and she's like, "Okay, hmm, I'm interested." Yeah. Yeah. So during the deserted island, what would that be like? Hour, hour, fifteen? Like I don't know. I'll tell you, they only were in love for like fifteen minutes. Yeah, but I was just gonna say that like. We paused the movie so many times just go to complain about it because, like, uh, during the deserted island section, because there was just so, so many much. montages that didn't make sense, so much shit that didn't make sense, and it was just it was bad, man. It was really bad before that, but then it got worse. If you can even imagine that craziness. Yeah. Yeah. Then they get saved, yeah. and mm-hmm. he suddenly is able to call her. She has no idea where they're staying. Yeah. Well, I think, I think because they offered the hotel, because they said we we got oh. your room at our hotel. Okay, okay. I think he knew because of that. But so I get the the end of the movie. I have a lot of like things to say. I don't know, <laughs> sort of, almost like redeeming qualities. But I don't think they were intentional. But go on. Okay, so I was confused about that, and then she comes down. Like when she comes down to get the letter, who goes down into their downstairs to a lobby in their robes. <laughs> Who walks across the street in Who robes? Would go, who would walk across the street <laughs> at 9 p.m. in Salzburg in their robes? <laughs> Not us. Not That's us. Yeah. That, Plus one more like guy. You know, that makes this movie redeeming. That and redeemed it. I it. I that redeemed it. it. <laughs> this movie almost redeems itself at the end. Oh my gosh, man. It's still garbage. Oh my gosh, who walks around in robes? That's true. Gosh, crazy people. But before <laughs> that, so they get back, right? And wh- whoever that third guy is, th- they're like business partner. Oh, the guy that her guy servant? Was on the boat, wasn't he? No. I don't think it was. The, you, like the guy that handed him the, the bag? That wasn't him. He had longer hair than the guy on the boat. Well, it had been a month. Well, it's been a month. <laughs> I don't believe that hair grows <laughs> in swept away. <laughs> No, All I the hair growth went to him. Fun, yeah. All of it went to him? Because that still wouldn't be enough. <laughs> yeah. No. But anywho, he offers Pepe money to be like, oh, thanks or whatever for bringing her back. I don't take bribes. He said that and I was like, dude, take the money and run. Forget about <laughs> yeah. her. It was what like a hell? bag full of money. So much money. And I was like, yeah. brah, you're missing out. You don't want to deal with this bitch. We know you don't. Right. Like, I, don't... I mm. thought it was funny that I was in um, the Italian currency of the time, because I don't know, I don't know yeah. if the euro was out. Yeah. But then later, she's paying. She pays him with U.S. dollar. Really? I didn't yeah, that. she gives um the hundred dollar. Yeah, the hundred dollars. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I just thought it was funny that Wait. they were, and I thought he was going to get that one hundred dollars from the bellboy because at one point she said oh, she was right, going to yeah, buy yeah. that fish yeah. for a hundred dollars, and he was going to be yeah. super offended. Mm-hmm. That she gave him a hundred dollars with the letter. Well, see, that is just way too much forward thinking for this movie. <laughs> I yeah, I know. I could have. I'm just adding like actual plot. <laughs> yes. And yeah. That <laughs> You're didn't to make happen. It make sense. I know. Oh my god. Oh my. So there's one point in time where he's crying on the phone talking to her. Right. Mm-hmm. I paused the movie. I'm like he looks like Charlie Day. Yeah. He actually. Kinda. What. I just said, yeah, kind of. Well, there, it's just this one scene that I thought this. And I think it's because there's a scene of Charlie calling somebody on a phone crying in Sunny. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah. Woof. Well, during that scene, he is so depressed, like weeping on the phone. And I'm like, mm-hmm. bro, this can't have been, you work on a yacht, right? This can't have been the first time that you had an intolerable passenger. And like. No, he doesn't work on the boat. He's a fisherman who needed extra work. Okay, well, the thought is, like, they're in a touristy country, right? Like, or just in your general day-to-day life, you can't have come into contact with someone that wasn't, like, intolerable in some way or, like, high maintenance or whatever, however you would want to describe her that's nice. And we're just supposed to believe that he's all shook up and depressed when, like, 15 minutes ago on the deserted island, he couldn't give two shits about her. Yeah, I was just like, no... Sam did not like that he was sad. Do not believe. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I really liked how the boat and the helicopter, like, he didn't see the helicopter there. Because that bellboy right. just walked down there. Yeah. And like, like, it was go. two feet away. That's him. You said this almost redeemed itself. How? Yes, please tell. How? Please tell. Um, it was I don't the think ropes. it was intentional, but mm-hmm. it was, like, more of, like, psychological stuff. Like, so they just went through a traumatic event, right? Mm-hmm. And they're all there, and I just think it shows, like, so the husband, it just tries to go back to normal. Mm-hmm. Like, he's somebody that doesn't recognize this was a traumatic event. She's back now. He's like, okay, I think I'm back to normal. He recognized that something went on. Oh, yeah. Kind of, you can tell he kind of, like, it's like, what happened between you two? But he never confronts her about it. But it's just almost like, oh, okay, so it's it's doing a good job of showing that there's a disconnect between somebody that doesn't understand another person's like trauma, I guess. I don't know. Okay. And, or somebody else's pain. But I was like, mm, this movie didn't mean to, it didn't uh, mean to do put that. Put that in there. No. <laughs> this you using your this, brain? <laughs> yeah. This, this is not, I'm thinking too hard for this movie. Yes. <laughs> like, this is not this movie at all. Yeah. It's literally supposed to be straightforward. She's in love with the other guy. He knows and he's pissed. And But I kind of felt like it was trying to make the, the husband seemed like a bad guy. I yeah. know, like they tried to make him do a villain. Sketchy about the husband because he did nothing wrong except or maybe for maybe he was defend it. Right, like... or maybe he was like how they were on the island, but we never saw that. <laughs> so we don't know. <laughs> so we don't know. Was he kind of like that too? He's like, call me your master. Like, like when they first started dating, and that's maybe why she maybe was she's afraid submissive. To leave and go back. I don't know. <laughs> this is going to be it part of the conversation. Weird. I do not. Yeah, do you want me to change <laughs> it? Explore. I just want to bring up the ending. Do you have anything before that ending, yeah. I should say? No, no, no. Okay. So, first off, the end dragged on, like, all things in this Oh, movie. my gosh. <laughs> oh, God. And then the credit scene? I'm getting oh. there. <laughs> but <laughs> before you get there, you have to make it through the long-ass ending. And, like, you and I were guessing about what would actually happen, right? And I feel like our right. endings are way better than theirs. So I'm just going to put this out there. <laughs> so we thought, oh, she might put her hand against the glass and he'd run up and see her. And then you'd see her go away. But at least they acknowledged that they saw each other, right? Nope. Wrong. She or, also thought that she would. Okay. Or I thought that maybe he might fling himself towards the helicopter and, like, grab onto the bottom because that would just be, like, the most ridiculous thing ever. But, you know, so is this whole movie. That also did not happen. And then I was, like, in the spirit of people flinging themselves, maybe she would see him and fling herself out of the helicopter. Uh, Didn't happen. Yeah. The ending was just... (laughs) He watches the helicopter go away. She doesn't even see him at all. Like, they don't even really see each other. And he what? He pouts, and she just, like, she pouts? She they cries. They just pout. They pout. And then he flings the ring into the water. And I just was That's like... Really good CGI. Yeah. So And good. then the ring is just slowly falling yep. throughout, like, the credit scene. Yeah. It's yep. just falling. I, you know, honestly, that was probably the best part. They spent all their budget on that. Now, uh, another they... redemption here is it almost makes you feel bad. It almost <laughs> makes you feel sad That's for the two true. of them. I don't. Almost. I really it's don't. So bad that it just didn't get you there. You know. You know how like movies and TVs, books, every stories, just mm-hmm. stories are supposed to make you feel for the characters. Yeah, there's supposed to be an emotional connection of some kind. Yeah. It, even if it's hate, I literally have no feeling. Towards yeah, these people, I was, like I have this whole movie, it was confusing and there was no point to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah. Like, I don't know if this is somebody's, like, if, okay, I get rom-coms, you know, they have a place, whatever, I'll watch them, doesn't matter. <laughs> Sometimes. Like, <laughs> we thought you were going to turn yeah, this one like, off mid, mid-movie, we're like, he's going to be just like, I'm Audrey, done. Does that count? Does that count? <laughs> well, <laughs> I watched the, it were in they... sections. <laughs> but, every you know, every I ten like minutes. Five minute breaks. Woo! Yeah. Every three minutes, take a five minute break. I'm just I'm trying to figure out the audience for this movie the, the whole time. Mm-hmm. Like that's what that's what I was doing. I was like, okay, so this was made. Uh, I'm assuming just like any other movies made. Mm-hmm. And there's a target audience, and I was sitting here. I was trying to figure it out because I was like, okay, is this marketed as like a rom com? Oh shit! What was the like the, what was the trailer been? like? The trailer made it look like lighter and fluffier. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a light, fun movie. But yeah. it didn't Which... at the same time because it shows him beating her up. I yeah, think. it shows him slapping her. Oh, does it? Yeah. No. So like for a section of the trailer was like because I tried to I tried to explain that away too. Like oh well maybe it was marketed as a rom com and then right. you see the trailer and you're like mm, nope. <laughs> I it was a nothing. Yeah. Just a nothing yeah. film. Well, to that note, what? In the actual fuck did I just watch? <laughs> exactly. With I had that in 30 minutes. Yeah. I, I was there at 30 minutes. I think we all arrived there at some way or another. Because <laughs> at 30 minutes you should... I, I think the the Hulk had more story in it than that. Like, I'm talking the original Hulk. With the CGI dogs? Yeah, with the creepy CGI dogs. That one had more story in it in the first 30 minutes. Then this whole movie. And that movie is claimed to be one of the worst. Right. Well, I was trying yeah. to think of this in the perspective of, of like the room, right? It's so bad that it's Ooh, loved. No. And like, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't love any of it. I didn't like any of it. Like I was like, I get some sort of joy out of some pretty terrible movies like Monster Trucks, but I honestly think that this one has to be the one that can't be named <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> Baltimore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to get into the characters real quick and who they are. Okay. So, shocker, Amber is played by Madonna. So shocked. I know. And Giuseppe. Hey. And if you didn't know who Madonna was, I'm just going to skip it because you should. I think most people would no, know who Madonna she is. is. But if you didn't I know her so. name in the movie, that's fine. We didn't you know, know what? <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I only actually got it from IMDb. Solid. Um, I can't remember what it was. It was like Lighten or something like that. Yeah, Lighten. Brighton. Amber Lighten. Was it really? Damn! <laughs> Those five-minute oh, breaks oh, helped him. <laughs> I know that. So I suck. <laughs> Anyways, next person, Giuseppe, mm-hmm. also known as Pepe. Only person I think I actually know his character's name. Knew, like, definitely knew his name. From the beginning, yeah. yeah. From the beginning. Sure. Everyone else, no clue. So he's done some Italian flicks, but okay. he does mostly dubbing. Oh. He was Eddie Brock slash Venom in the movie Venom. Damn. Mm-hmm. He did. He was the Joker in The Dark Knight. Wow. And another one, he was Lemony Snicket in Lemony Snicket's Series of Unfortunate Events. Dude's got a resume. Yeah, I know. I was like, okay, so you're not like, you're still doing vo- like some acting, like voice acting. So mm-hmm. good for you. Good job, Giuseppe. Tony? Who's Tony? Any guesses? I have no idea. One of the, the husband. It is the husband. Sweet! Bruce Greenwood. Yep. Sam, you said you think you know where he's from. Mm-hmm. Name it. I don't know. He just looks familiar. Okay, okay. So he also looks just like Sam Neill, who is Dr. Alan Grant in Jurassic Park. That's but they're not, not they're not the same person. They do look alike though. That's not who I thought it was. Oh, he's in Star Trek and iRobot. Mm-hmm. And NCIS. nothing else looked familiar. NCIS. Oh, maybe. That's the NCIS. big one. Okay. But yeah, I thought it was Sam Neill for a while. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. I think they look alike. But, <laughs> um, and then the only other character I wrote down is Debbie. Which was? Elizabeth Banks. Solid. And, you know, Hunger Games. Best character ever. Yeah, Sam took a quiz and she actually got Effie as what character she would be. Statistically uh, speaking. Statistically out of speaking. Like, yeah. It's supposed to out be. Out of like 500 characters. Yeah, which made yeah. me kind of depressed. <laughs> I like I, Effie. I like Effie you too, but that's such Effie a. Effie was awesome, yeah. That's such Effie's a, effing awesome. That's true. But that's such a specific character. Because, like, I don't know. That, I got Dr. John that's Hammond. That's for a different That's for a I different want to take show. this quiz. Yeah, we'll I'll, send, I'll quiz. send it to you, yeah. I got Dr. Okay. John Hammond from Jurassic Park. I like that, yeah. 
And we will tweet. How many do we know? Does it tell you all the list of all the characters? Yeah, it does. Yeah, and like I didn't. I'm not gonna go through 500 names, but oh, I scrolled. Um, it shows. On, yeah, it gives uh, you like the movie or the TV show they're from. Like I'm nowhere yeah. near like Jon Snow apparently. Yeah, so yeah. I went through like the top. It was Effie, and then my second person was Leslie Nope. <laughs> and then oh uh, yes. <laughs> And it was like 89% for Effie and like 82% for Leslie. Yeah, like, my I would one. 100% <laughs> say Drunk Sam is, it is Leslie, Leslie Nope. nope. Oh, <laughs> you know what? No! I will agree with that. No! Oh, but only God. sober Leslie Nope, not drunk Leslie Nope. I don't yes, exactly. Yeah, Leslie not nope. drunk Leslie. Oh, you are sober Leslie. <laughs> that is, oh my God, that's very oh, true. Drunk. Oh my lord. Okay, well, what I was going to say is that we'll also tweet this quiz for the small yeah, for... amount of listeners that we have so you can take it. <laughs> Our digits. <laughs> Maybe somebody else is an Effie. <laughs> uh, so, did you know she's also in Spider-Man 2 and 3? Yes. And Seabiscuit? She's in everything, dude. She is really in like, everything? <laughs> she's just a random character and d- 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 does a couple lines some scenes. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. So, yeah. Those are the only four characters I wrote down, but I do want to bring this up. Tim, this was a remake. <laughs> what? There is a 1974 version of it that is highly rated. Well, here, see, I thought this was like the next Castaway. <laughs> I, yeah, no, no. I was like, oh man, this movie's amazing, and I loved it. And... He loved every minute of it. That's why he knew her <laughs> name. It was a remake. <laughs> It was a like remake. Something else? Yes, I would and I want rather have watched the remake. <laughs> so, <laughs> the original, I think. All right, it gets even better about the original. The Adriano Giannini. Giannini. Okay. Uh huh. The guy who played Giuseppe. His father, Giancarlo Giannini, was Giuseppe in the original. Whoa! Crazy, Whoa. right? And his father actually has done mostly. Oh, not most. A lot of work with dubbing as well for the Italian language. Oh, nice. I didn't write down his movies, though. But the family business. It is the family business. But the um, original director, Lena Wertmuller, okay. left the theater crying after she th- saw this film. She huh. was saying, how did they do this? Like, why did they do this to my film? I believe it. Why? <laughs> yeah. I was like, that is amazing. It did so poorly. That in the it did so poor in the United States that it went straight to video in the United Kingdom, so that's like a big deal because Guy Ritchie is English. Yeah. yeah. So like him Ooh, having his movie is. go straight to video is like kind of a sorry, bro. Yeah. And Madonna, <laughs> Madonna was apparently like, I don't think I think the critics are just going after him because you know he did so well in his first two movies because this came right after Snatch, which is apparently one of his best films. Okay. I've not seen it myself, but maybe in the future. I can't believe she had the balls to defend this movie. <laughs> Cause like, Her last feature film. The people that were in Cats were like, nope, don't want any of a part of it. It was an atrocity. And you just would think that that's what she would do. But, but nope. yeah. And then the working title, which I'm sure Lena, the original director, would have preferred them to use, was Love, Sex, Drugs, and Money. Were there drugs? Yeah, he poured yeah, he poured the, oh, cocaine, the cocaine out, but yeah, not enough for that to be in the title. I know, I know. Oh man! And there's not even like, and then the sex parts don't even happen until maybe twenty minutes till the end. After all the crazy parts. Yeah. Well, and the or in the love too. Let's let's bring up that. Well, and we saw that this was a remake, so we were like, oh, we'll go back to the original story, and, like, maybe some of that sketchy stuff wasn't in it. Nope, it was worse in the trailer. We yeah. were like, oh, shit. So. Except the one difference is that the main character, I think they actually had different names, but she was, the girl Madonna was portraying had a sea urchin was actually eating it correctly. Oh, really? So yeah. maybe Madonna just didn't know how. There are parts of the original that are more redeeming. Maybe. Well, no, this one the original did well. I still have questions about the story, I, but anywho. <laughs> anywho, we digress. So I that's all I really have for the film. Tim, you got anything yeah. any last comments? Don't ever watch this movie. <laughs> He, we're not there yet, Tim. All right, we Tim. can be there. We I can don't no, care. Sam, do you have anything? <laughs> No, I don't have anything. All right, all right. So, collectively, would you flip this on in three, 
two, one. No. no. Yes. <laughs> Tim oh, didn't even I mean, say no. No, no yeah. Tim's flipping this on. <laughs> no, it's a no. Yeah, it's a no. Um, so, Tim, is it worse than Monster Trucks? You know what? This actually made the top of my list. If the top is the bottom. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's it's worse than Monster Obviously worse than Monster Trucks. <laughs> yeah, this is my bottom. By a well. long shot. This will be the bottom of the list probably for a very, very long time. Which is hilarious because we said that about Monster Trucks. And, well, we dethroned it. It took three episodes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it took a whole three episodes. But this one, like, is one that you're like, it can't get worse, can it? And then it, you know. And it just keeps it. going and it just keeps going. <laughs> so, yeah. At this point, I'm like, all right, it really can't get much worse besides, like, a Tommy Wiseau film or something. But and those are just it, hilarious. I still enjoy those, Wiseau. though. Like, yeah. That's the problem. Those are still hilarious to watch with how bad they are. They are. So do you think we can beat it next week and how terrible this was? No, I think it's going to be around for a while. All right. I don't think – I'm not going to put us through another terrible movie like that, I don't think. On purpose. Uh, Unless you can pick three. this was on purpose, guys. That's true. Well, that's true. Because sometimes, like – I could have told you, though, looking at the screen, reading the the one-line synopsis, seeing Madonna's head as the picture – and seeing it was from 2002, and it looked like it was from 1990, that it probably wasn't going to be the best film. But... Well, I knew it was going to be bad, especially because we knew it, right. it won the Razzies. You expected to laugh a little bit and stuff, though. Yeah. Like, you expected, like, something. I was to laughing because but... I was crying because it was bad. Oh, I was moaning because I was in pain. <laughs> if you go against our recommendation and do watch it, we do recommend multiple pausing sessions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think Bathroom you can breaks, you're not going to miss... Mean... <laughs> You're not Get missing up, anything. Get up, stretch, take a walk, come back. Contemplate why you're watching this movie multiple times, and then you'll be on our level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then make sure you take two pages of notes as well. Oh, for sure. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That's part of the experience. All right, so Tim, you are yes. up, good sir, for the flipper flick spinning of the wheel. Let's do it. All right, let's hear what he gets. Done. Clickety-click, click, click, and here we go. Box office bust! Wow, another repeat. Another repeat. Wow. I swear we have eight categories. Four of them just haven't shown up yet. Yeah, so, well, remember when we said that it wasn't, this one wasn't going to be dethroned right away? It might. So Your congrats, box office Tim. bust. <laughs> this was also a bust, by the way. Shocker. Shocker, I know. It made $1 million. Okay. And the budget was 10 mm. It did not actually bust as bad as you would expect. Yeah. But again, Guy Ritchie said that she was cheap and free. So there's that. <laughs> free, like in her time, to- like free time wise, because she had just gotten off her concert tour. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just don't think he liked his own wife. I at don't the think time. so either. We didn't even get to get into that. This one deserves like three episodes because we could talk about it forever. But mm. oh god, it is mm. what it is. All right. <laughs> Anywho, well, you can catch us on Discord. Discord. <laughs> Don't catch us on Discord. He keeps saying yeah, Discord, and now you guys are going to go try to find us there. We are not there. <laughs> I'm hiding on it. We are on Anchor and Spotify. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yes, Anchor and Spotify. And we are on Twitter and Instagram, so if you do decide to watch this movie, please tell us your opinions. We love talking about this yeah. movie. <laughs> At Flipper Flicks. Well, thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks, guys.